going on guys good morning we are looking at the nasdaq we are also going to look over at bed bath and beyond this morning it is the 28th of february tuesday tuesday morning right around 6 a.m nasdaq yesterday had a down day it looks like we are still in this slight downtrend where we have a lower high lower low and potentially setting up another lower high here. So let's see if the low that was placed on the 24th still can hold. And maybe we'll actually rally here, creating a lower high, but then pulling back to a higher low. And then maybe we are off to the races once again. So far, we are still making new lows. So not too good for the NASDAQ. Let's head over to Bed Bath and beyond bed bath and beyond daily chart driving by our local bed bath and beyond on the east coast of new jersey big old yellow store closing sign on their website they provide a list of all the stores they are closing i don't know if it's all of them but it sure looks like a lot of them i didn't even know our store was closing until i saw the sign anyways here is the daily chart of bed bath and beyond what are my thoughts on this moving forward so far let me fix this scale here just something like that so far our low over here on the 20 on the 6th of january guys has held that is a key area that we're we're still keeping an eye on we want to see that low hold and my thoughts are on this and i could be wrong guys it's not financial advice potentially a little dicey investing in something like this when they are closing all of these stores things aren't looking too good but we'll see is let me try to get the correct tool here. Potentially setting up a either a higher low or a double bottom. A double a a real double bottom, the right hand side of the W actually undercuts the left hand side. So that would actually give us a new low. It looks like this thing wants to find its bottom before undercutting the low over on the 6th of January. Right now our low of this move is a dollar 42. Yes, a dollar 42. Markets are definitely um at least they were anyways not long ago they were still in the red so this probably won't help Bed Bath and Beyond. Although I have seen the stock move counter to the market. Markets are down, Bed Bath and Beyond is up. We are still long from a dollar fifty-five. Looks like yesterday we closed at a dollar forty-eight. Like I said in previous Bed Bath and Beyond videos, won't be holding this thing to zero. So if it continues lower, we'll be stopped out. We'll try to re-enter on some strength. So what am I watching? One, I am watching for this low to hold here, and that low is a dollar twenty-seven. If that gets undercut, it could be a free fall. Scenario number one could be a free fall. Scenario number two is it could be a shakeout where you undercut the low, reverse hard, and rally. That happens quite often. Scenario number three is we find a higher low here these past couple days, and then we start to move back to the upside. But right now, it is kind of just a slow and steady. The past three days, Looks like they're finding a footing, but then again, it's tough. The markets have not helped by any means. If the NASDAQ and the rest of the markets continue to go lower, it's not going to make it easier for Bed Bath & Beyond to rally from here. I still think we're oversold. I still think we're due for a big, big rally. When it comes, though, it's a tough call. It's anybody's guess. I, I have a position from $1.55. I may be wrong. I might get stopped out. Again, I've already been stopped out at least once, potentially twice from this stock. So I'm not saying buy it or sell it or anything like that. Just sharing. 
my opinion, guys, could totally be wrong. Like I said, potentially a little dicey having money invested in something like this as potentially going out of business and closing all of their stores. Yesterday was a down 3.27% day, guys. We still have our valid areas way above the market, but keep in mind, they may never get touched. These areas may never be seen again for this stock. They are up here, though, at the, let's see, 746, 749, up there at the $9.73 range. And I think we... We actually have some way, way higher ones. I don't think those will ever be seen, actually, at 35 and 44. There's no reason why those should ever be seen, so let's not spend too much time talking about them. The 7s and the even the 9 is a little dicey, but the 7 depends. If we get a massive pump here, we saw it take place once on, on earnings. You could easily get yourself back up close anyways to that $7 range. I don't know how possible it is, though, but it is up there. If we do rally or get a pump, I do see resistance coming in at that $7 range. Just understand, though, you're playing with fire here as this thing approaches its low here of the 6th. And if you undercut that, it could be a free fall. Keep that in mind. Prepare accordingly could be a free fall. The markets aren't as stable. They actually sold off yesterday. They are not as stable as they started the day. So that also wasn't a comforting thing. We are not long any of the market indexes right now. The futures I'm talking about, the micro futures, we are waiting to re-enter them on strength. So time will tell whenever that comes but they have a lot of work to do to recover this sell-off just know you're playing with fire here with bed bath and beyond if we start to undercut that low it could be honestly it could be three scenarios you could you could free fall it could be a shakeout with a big candle wick it could be a double bottom all three scenarios can play out here but like i said with what's going on with this company it's a little dicey, but we're still in from a dollar fifty-five, and we will be stopped out if this thing heads um, too much lower here. And you know, if it shows strength again, maybe we'll get back in. We had a nice day on, I believe it was Friday the twenty-fourth, but we traded up to a high, <clears throat> excuse me, a high of a dollar sixty-eight, faded throughout the day, closed at dollar fifty. Three. So dollar sixty-eight was our high. That was nice to see, but then we faded. And yesterday, obviously, the markets didn't help bed, bath, and beyond. If you want to throw some short-term fibs on this, you could use this high here on the sixth. To take our low, which is a dollar forty-two, I believe. You can see we got some fibs levels roughly up there at the um, 208, 262, 316, 380, and 499. First area in the sand using the fibs off this move would be $2.08. Above that, $2.62. Do expect a bounce here. Just don't know when it will show up. So... Kind of more just talking about the stock, sharing some of my thoughts. No no real price targets here. Um, I will keep my $7 targets above the market. But like I said, none of these might ever get reached. But if the price does start to get up here, I would expect resistance to show up at those levels. You guys have a great day. Maybe we'll get a pop here, a turnaround Tuesday for these markets. We'll see Bed Bath & Beyond move higher. Maybe good for a trade. We'll take some profits. Time will tell. Yesterday's close wasn't very convincing, though. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you were not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Only takes a second, and you'll be notified if you turn on the bell when we upload videos. Feel free to leave your thoughts down in the comments. All thoughts, all ideas are welcome. All right, guys. Take care.